Hello and welcome back to my summer car. I uh, noticed something as I was saving the last time and I wanted to check to see if in fact it was still true. And as you see the little blue thing through the window, uncle is here with the van. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab that the keys from him. We're not going to take that any place. Um, we really don't need it at the moment. Well, it's finally here and we don't need it. We will need it in the future. So it's going to be good to get the keys to it. And I think once we get the keys to it, he should, at some point in time, um, give it to us completely as, when he, as the story progresses. So, there he is. Um, uh, uh, park, park. feel like I have to wait for it. Now, we're not going to drive that anywhere. We have no place to go right now. But we do have the keys. All right. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to get the car to the shop. And it's too late to do that today. It's, it's actually fairly late in the evening, as I'm remembering. The Finnish sun being in the you know high in the sky. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so it's almost eleven o'clock. Um, basically, what we're gonna do is we're going to in the morning we're gonna take the car out. We are going to drive it to Flitari's shop, which is kind of the opposite direction that we normally go. I think we we we've driven by there when we got the wheels from the haunted house. And oh, we need to get. We need to get the moped, and I left that in the tractor. A little running around here. We'll also look in the mailbox and see if there's any bills we have to pay. I think I did that recently, so I don't really remember. But anyway, so, yeah, we're going to get to the shop, and then we're going to drive the moped back. Now, we could get... Nothing in there except for the advertisement. We could, instead of doing the moped, we could take his car back. He will actually loan us his car so we have transportation back to the house. The problem is, is that car is not a lot of fun to drive on the dirt road. And we probably will do that at some point in time, but uh, I'm not doing it right at the moment. So we're just going to grab this. Really? <sighs> Sigh. All right. Come on. Really? Come on. There we go. Okay, we'll get into driving mode. We will. Lots of gas. there and hop off the bike. I've got a lot of fatigue and a lot of stress, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to bed. Oh, and then we'll yeah. be ready to go to Flatari's as soon as we wake up. And here we go. <laughs> And what time is it? It's six. All right, so we still have... It's going to be a while before his shop opens. The good news is, is 
Well, we could do a trek. We can just drive up there and save the game. There's actually an outhouse at his location. Oh, let's take some of this out of here. We can take the beer out. And there's food in there that we'll probably need at some point. So... Yeah, what can we do here? Let's see. Um, I don't want to eat anything yet, so we'll probably... Yeah, we'll have that in the car for later. And we'll just leave the gasoline in here as well. All right, anything else we need? No, we just need the this. We should be able to fit this in, I think. Come on. There we go. And we'll just kind of sort of get it in there somehow. Eh, like that. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Hop in the car. We will enter driving mode as soon as I can see the choke. And pull the choke out. We will. Start the car, I hope. Alright. Take off the brake. And we will. No. Reverse. And we'll be on our way. The graphics really don't know how to handle that bike being in this car, which is kind of funny. I mean, look at how the door is reacting. You can see in the rearview mirror how the bike's just jumping around. That's all right. Ah! Don't know what happened. I don't think this is working. I may have to abandon this whole bike idea. This is oh, well, part of it. Is Chokes way out. All right, hold on. That looks better. No, this is not drivable. I don't know why. I think this thing is doing weird things to it. So I'm going to abandon this idea. And we'll just kind of toss that to the side for the time being. We'll come back and get that in a little bit. And yeah, let's try this again. Well, I guess we are driving that other car back. <laughs> That's kind of a bummer. That is a tough car to drive on dirt. weird though, it's like the uh, moped was like, the tire of the moped was forcing this thing off the road. It was very weird how that was being handled. But, alright! So I think as usual, um, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this until we get the Platari shot. is not only are we going to drive that impossible to drive car on the dirt roads, we're going to do it in the rain. <laughs> oh, this has got it. There's got to be better wipers than this. All right, I'm just going to slow. All right, good. Man, I am so, there we go. I didn't want to do, I wanted to have everything set up before I got to the road. You know that green guy is going to 
Goodness. We're absolutely going to see the green guy because it's raining. We're absolutely. Wow. This is kind of difficult. <laughs> Okay, that, that the rain was tough, I have to admit. I don't remember the rain being that hard in this game. But, I mean, yeah, that was pretty impossible to see. It's too bad it didn't clean off our windshield. up what I had a turn to make. Uh oh, here's the green guy. I knew he was coming. We're gonna get off the side of the road now. Alright. That could have been a lot worse. That big yellow place is Safari's shop. and put my seatbelt on. I need to remember to do that. What time is it? It should be on the dashboard. If I can read the dashboard. Perfect. He should have just opened. Terve, terve. Mit mikä oli pojalla mielessä? Ei jumalauta, nyt on sellainen juttu, että... Joku pistää mun silmään pahasti. Ei, ei niinku pysty kattoon oikein. Ai saatana. Joo, mä taidan tietää mikä tää on. Tää on tää sun autos. Auttaisko siihen, jos mä otan niinku hitsaajan lasit päähän, että mä niinku varmaankaan näe yhtään mitään. No idea what he's saying. So this will get us past the inspection. These are slightly better. Neither of these will get this. Neither of these will pass inspection. So I have to buy one of these two. And I'm kind of inclined to buy the slightly more expensive one, just to have slightly better tires for this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, which is, what, the 210? So we're going to do that. Oh, we got a discount. Sweet. Anything else that we want to do? I think we're probably close to fine on all of this, at least as far as, you know, what I have money to spend on. 
So we're just gonna leave it at that, and we will pay. Älä sit saatana oo sen kaasupolkimen kans kauhean tiukkana, kun kyllä se ottaa sitä bensiiniä jo aika kovasti toi kone. Alright, well thanks. Alright, so we're gonna take this impossible car. And this thing's insane. Okay, we're in driving mode. All right, we are not going. Where's the handbrake? There's a brake here someplace. I know there's a brake here someplace. All right, hold on, let's stop for a second. Let's look around for it. This this shouldn't be this hard, but it is. <laughs> huh. It won't let me out of driving mode. That is weird. Oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, okay. I want to get back in, and I want to find where the brake is. Those are the lights. There has got to be. A break here someplace, isn't there? All right, well, maybe not. We'll figure it out or we won't. <laughs> All right, we're going to enter driving mode. We're going to buckle up the seatbelt. We're going to start this. Doesn't have a brake. Weird. All right. Huh. Well, good thing he knows how to repair cars. All right. This is a really bad location. Here we go. All right. See how much traction this gets on the uh, pavement. All right. Excuse me. On dirt. So this is tough. We're gonna get to the actual road take it most of the way back that way. Let's see how this goes. Being on the highway is always a treat. Ooh, especially when you can't drive the car. Thankfully nobody was coming. This is about the speed limit on this road, believe it or not. car is so hard to drive. I really hate it. Uh, oh, oh. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Counterintuitively, I think it drives better when you're accelerating, which is kind of the same thing I said about the other as well. like I want to really be speeding up and here I am speeding up I'm slowing down now because I don't have a choice we got okay this is this this is gonna be the part where everybody laughs okay so far so good <laughs> oh god help me I don't know, maybe this is good for the entertainment value of it. I'm gonna turn. This does not turn with the brakes on at all. Seems, I guess that makes sense, but. Oh, man. Oh. I'm sure 
sure somebody can do this with great skill, and that person is not me. Yeah, you have to give it gas to actually have any form of, like, grip at all, but when you're doing that, you, you know, you start going faster, and you have less grip then, you know, normal times, it's sort of a, I can't explain it, it's, the rear wheel tires are just spinning on this thing, and because of that, it's shaking the car all over the place, it's better than walking, Especially when I'm this thirsty and this hungry, I forgot to uh, transfer any food. Most of it I left at the uh, driveway, so we should be okay. God help us if it starts to rain again. Alright. So far, I'm actually having much better success with this than I thought I would, but wow. That other car is just so much easier to drive on this. Even the green car is easier to drive on this. Oh, wow. All right. Well, I'm just trying to fill time with conversation here, because, but I'm trying to concentrate at the same time. I figure this is probably worth seeing because I'm probably going to make a lot of, have a lot of your misses on this and so forth. But as I am trying to make that, you know, legitimately not happening as a, happen as a factor of playing the game, I feel like I'm being too quiet. This is crazy. Alright. Running off the road, running off the road, not meaning to, it's just kind of ha ah, happening. This is going much better than I thought, but oh wow. This is taking a lot of, a lot more concentration than I can, uh, than it seems like it is. All right, we gotta be getting close. We're around there, yeah, there we go. I was say we should be seeing some, some the buildings. I feel like I should know every inch of this by now, as many times as I've driven up and down it. All right. car. Did all that swearing on the way over and it's, I'm just almost completely. Alright, let's drink some of this. That stress is just ridiculous considering, like I said, I've, <coughs> but, it, but I kind of feel it myself in my, my real physical form after driving the Ferndale. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so we got some of that in us. We're not super hungry, but we are hungry, so we will go ahead and... There we go. Drink another beer. That's not too bad. We have to worry about stress. No, that's going to be a lot of cursing. I'll probably just do that off camera at some point, but... You know, we've done pretty well for ourselves, I think, here. We've got uh, the car, the tires are getting on the car, so that means with just a couple other steps, we should be able to get that inspect, picked up and inspected. And we'll make a whole mission out of that, I guess. But not bad, not bad. Uh, we only, only mission we have to actually get paid is the dude that wants us to do the hay bales, and I see no purpose in spending that much time. So... We've got that ahead of us as well. But all right. So we've got the car. We've, we're going to get the tires. When he calls, we'll start the next uh, episode of this. And we will go ahead and get the car inspected. And we'll see what comes next. I want to thank you for watching this little episode. Um, hope you enjoyed the Ferndale. That, uh, that car is something else. It'll, 
we'll, we'll mess with it a little bit more. But uh, driving it on the dirt, yeah, not 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 a fun thing. Well, it's fun, but it's more challenging than it should be, given that I'm on mortal, you know, super insta death. So, all right. Well, thank you again for spending your time with me. Have a great day and be safe.